thank you for joining us, Francesca. I'm going to give a quick introduction about your experience from a tour that you had been on with Madonna. <laughs> and then uh, that had ended because of the pandemic. So anyway, fast forward, you're a freelance violinist. You have done so many different performances based in New York, also from Italy. And thank you for joining us. So much has changed. You've become a mother. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so how have you been? Thank you. Uh, you know, it's been great. It's been busy. <laughs> it's <laughs> Um, definitely better than the pandemic time, but because um, now, fortunately, uh, us musicians can do a little bit more work, and we can, you know, I see a lot of friends going out on tour now and things like that. So it makes me so happy that things are starting back on. In general, I'm good. You know, even there's so many things happening in the world right now that yeah. you know making me feel a little heavy, and I'm sure everyone, but. Um, you know, we're trying to find the good in other yes. things, you know, like, like for me, my family, like feeling grateful every day that I have them and they're healthy and, you know, and good. So that's a lot to be thankful these days. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. And then so far, you know, life is just definitely very different from last time I talked to you. I know it feels like two years ago, but, yeah. and I'm also starting to have some kind of like, brain fog memory from like the pandemic now so having my 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 son and everything it's just like all like a little bit of a mix and uh, kind of like uh, maybe it's like still the hormones but like I, I have a lot of brain fog and I'm like what happened last year what right. <laughs> but um <laughs> How's things? <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'm good. I cannot complain. <laughs> everyone's healthy and everyone's safe. So yeah, that's, that's, that's huge. <laughs> yeah. We have some, Lexitune has had, we've had some fun projects for Lexitune. So that's been good. Yeah, our custom projects. So it's, it's good. And it's a good time to be in New York, I think, because now we can actually start doing things. <laughs> yeah. So very so, great. I want to go right into our next question. Uh, and by the way, if, okay, if it's okay with you, I thought we could go, we could address some questions that people are asking if, as we go along, if we ha if there are any. If, we, if there's any yeah. questions. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so how are you juggling being, being a mom, being a new parent? You know, everything is, I'm sure, new and like you, you're working, you're, I see that you've done projects, obviously you're going to rehearsals at some point and performances. How are you juggling all of that? Because your son is uh, not that old, Ten months. months. Congratulations once again. Yeah, I was very lucky when he was born in May 1st of last year, you know, everything went well and I was, I don't know, I had so much energy. So I was back at work after a week. Uh, I was after a week it was wow. crazy. I, if I think about it it's crazy but I was feeling really good and good. like he was just sleeping most of the time and you know having also my partner like helping out a lot and um, he was home back then so he you know we couldn't you know when I go home when I was going to work he was here with the baby so I never felt like stress in a way mm -hmm. so um, that was we we always plan in a way that you know I won't be gone for maybe too long or you know he you know he will have his milk and everything <laughs> you know and uh, but then now uh, I would say for the past two months since he's been like six seven months it's been really challenging because now he he's really aware that mm -hmm. I'm mom and dad <laughs> and then when we go away you know crying and then he wants to play all the time now he's slowly starting to walk and like he's crawling everywhere touching everything oh, okay. oh. <laughs> just in case he was just like touching it uh it's been really a lot you know and uh it's hard to find time to practice it's just, and uh, what I do usually it's like because I teach a lot I use that time also to kind of have time for me to practice at the same time I don't know if it makes sense it's like for example my students playing a G major scale and then I'm like okay now I can 
play with you and I try to like take that time also to have time to to play mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes I just when he when he's napping or when he's sleeping I go you know I try to play for like that 30 minutes even if it's 30 minutes try yeah. to like, very late at night when he's asleep um, it's very hard during the day when he's awake because right now it's like there's no time that I can just be like oh and you know, I have to go for this. Um, right. You have a nanny now. Oh, good. So, <laughs> yeah, my, my partner is back working in the office now. So he has a very stable 9 to 6 p.m. job. And, you know, I'm, I'm with the baby as much as I can. And then when I have to go to work, we have a, a wonderful nanny. Oh, and good. it's hard for me because leaving my baby is not easy. Yeah. So, with I'm my poor, sure. but like with someone you know that before was a stranger it was really right. hard, but um it's going really well so so far so good <laughs> good knock on wood that's you know that's that's really great <laughs> you know, we have uh in this music community we have uh there was a lot of actually a lot of my friends a lot of my colleagues became moms or are oh. now are becoming mom soon and uh, it's been uh it's been nice to have them because a lot of time maybe I get to have a gig with one of them and we're like, you know, talking about babies or <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's like, do you, can I pump? Can I do this? You know, the question right. obviously before I never even imagined, you know, I was like, oh yeah, pumpy on work. How's that working? Um, yeah. You know, like things like usually it's a little bit, I don't want to say taboo, but it's uh it, you know people don't just go and say oh yeah so it was really nice that uh with friends we get to do that and support each other and that way so that's been really amazing um and then yes we make it work day by day honestly i every every week with him it's something new you know he's learning new things so uh, i know it's just gonna get more challenging and uh especially with things maybe opening up a little bit more and getting more busy. Yeah, um, yeah, of course. You know, we're just gonna make it work somehow. There's a there's a comment. Uh, I don't know if it's a question. Maybe it's just a comment. It's in Italian, so I don't know. Um, oh. Pietro Scalvini. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's not a it's not a question. He okay. was just saying, uh, um, I'll just say hi very quickly. Oh. Um, a big hug oh very nice I'm a man. <laughs> yeah oh. you know i know that in certain workplaces i know when i was uh working in corporate uh, as a designer we had we just would have kind of like makeshift rooms because even though it is very heavily male dominated <laughs> there are still a lot of in terms of ownership most of the employees are women and so, and these are women leadership positions as well as managers and, you know, all levels and even buyers would come and they would sometimes, they're pregnant, they would uh, come back after having a baby. And when, because we're all females would say, okay, we'll be meeting. And then we would discuss in advance when you have to pump, you can go into that office. It's empty. <laughs> so it was really nice to see that because, you know, we could be kind of open about it. Definitely. And um, because it's necessary. It's like part of it's, yeah, it's partly function. You have to do it. <laughs> exactly. It's like, um, I mean, I'm grateful right now. I don't pump anymore. So, uh, and I did have those pumps that were like wireless. So, somehow, like, I could even teach online or something, just have them, and no one would even know. So, it's amazing how technology and like new things, you know, make mm. it easier for us moms or us busy mom that have to like be like you can be at home all the time you know um but definitely having the support from you know friends and colleagues and anybody in the industry it's it, it's right just, yeah you know i didn't say anything when i was pregnant because i didn't really and it was still kind of like during like a lockdown phase kind of and uh things were st slowly starting to c come back up and i i just didn't feel like it so we just like kept it very quiet till like it actually happened and <laughs> people saw me at a gig like maybe <laughs> the month, and of course I was like it was kind of 
school <laughs> to, you know, like hide. Very obvious. You know, <laughs> it is. but it was funny because uh, one project actually that um, that I had while I was pregnant that I uh, will cherish for a long time. It's uh, I had to fly down to Miami for the Latin Grammys uh, with Carol G. And that was my first flight after coming back from tour after quarantine. So it and I was, uh, I would say I was five months pregnant, I think four or five months. Um, so I didn't say anything that I was pregnant. Um, and uh, I was just, I wasn't showing much back then at all. I, I thought I was showing, but actually you know, when I look back at the video, <laughs> barely had anything um, but it was yeah my first travel and uh, you know wearing like mask uh what's it called that plastic thing <laughs> oh you were the shield the shield sorry the shield. <laughs> it was crazy. and then i was so scared because we had to get tested um, at the venue there the day before of rehearsals and mm. kind of like the first time of this like testing thing and I was like okay hopefully I don't you know it would be kind of bad if I tested positive and I have to go back home right away like right. You know? and so I was like feeling extra extra scared in a way to you know for my baby and everything but actually everything went really well and the ladies in the band were like amazing and I actually told them they were actually the first people that I, I told them and they oh. were so supportive and it, it was a great memory and you know everything went well I even fit in the clothes which I was really scared at first wow <laughs> that's <laughs> great like oh I could have fit clothes and everything but and it, it it went great and it felt very special to have him with me you know like yeah. it was one of the first you know bigger like performance gig after so many months you mm -hmm. know like not seeing people or you know i've done like throughout i've done a lot of recording like i've worked a lot from home remotely or in the studio but it's definitely very different from just going like performing for with a little bit more people than just like 10 people <laughs> in the room. <laughs> right, right. I'm sure that must have been really refreshing, you know? Yeah. Okay, so are there any like projects, uh, specific projects that you'd like to kind of mention because it was special to you? Like after the birth of your child or yeah, yeah. something that well, is really... For sure was uh, something I worked actually from home Mm -hmm. uh, it was really challenging for me, but at the same time, I think uh, I'm very happy with the result. It was this, um, I I was contacted by this uh, composer, Michael Vignola, to do this violin simple library uh, called Tex Texture. And uh, I worked from it from home and um, it was really challenging. It's just, um, I thought at first, you know, it would be something a little bit more easy. It's like, oh yeah, you know, I can play long notes and like things like that. But then it was actually very, it, it was a long process. And uh, um, and now anybody who wants it can buy it and use it for their <laughs> movie scores or-, or Wow, you know, that, or that's like, really cool. And we knew that actually one, you know, I can't say who, uh, it's very secret, but uh, a very famous uh, composer bought it and hopefully he likes it. <laughs> wow, so, maybe we'll hear it in a soundtrack. <laughs> right, we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. I'm happy if it can help other people achieving what they're, you know, the, the mm -hmm. kind of sound they're looking for. Um, so that was really, it, it was a challenge for me to do at a home, uh, and especially because it took, it took a few hours, and I think we did it in like two, three days, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and I always had a friend of mine, my friend Fraser, that um, helped me how with it. Also, being my second ears, you know, sometimes you just need it because when you're like trying to do everything yeah. at once, well, you just need like some <laughs> extra ears yeah, to see. Sounding board to kind of bounce off your yeah. ideas. Or second pair, pair of eyes, right? Yeah. Or ears, yeah. <laughs> for, in your case. So for all the 
musicians out there who are who have the ambition to kind of do what you're doing in terms of doing different performances and working with composers and going on tour possibly how to be uh what kind of advice or thoughts you have for violinists or musicians that are interested in pursuing that route right um this is a tough question because mm -hmm. i see every year things changing a mm. lot and in, uh, in the music industry so maybe what i thought about last year this year will be it's a little oh. different i think i think for example for students who just come out from you know school i just think to just say yes to everything try out like even you know not everybody loves to play weddings but it's a good place to start to meet people and to you know, just to learn how to like sight read, how to be a little bit out of your comfort zone and to earn some money because obviously we need that. <laughs> uh, so um, I think in order, yeah, so being very, um, at first I always say yes. And then of course you can start being a little bit more picky about like, like what kind of gigs you want to do. Um, definitely there's an aspect of networking that um, it's very important too. But I always think networking, yes, but then draw a line when it's like not to overstep or not to, you know, depending also on what kind of gig, if someone hires you or if you're the contractor or, you know, I think um, there's definitely many scenario. Um, for me, for example, when I contract or when I hire people, uh, musicians, I look for, um, if this person comes in time, mm -hmm. like you're, um, you're punctual and you're professional and, uh, oh, sorry, I'm using the computer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, if, and especially for me is how you also play. Like if of you're course. spending time, you know, you're good at sight reading, you're, you're sounding good. You you can play with other people because a lot of work I do, it's not like just being by yourself. It's being mm -hmm. other people. So how you treat other people, how you play with other people. Um, and sometimes, you know, there's scenario that there's, um, it could be this one person that like stick us out because of the vibrato, because of little uh -huh. things. But um, so just that, and honestly, just be yourself. Just be yourself, bring your own personality. And, you know, I do what you love to do. <laughs> so, you know, I, but definitely being professional, I think it's, the, it's first, you know, and just because a lot of the work we do, it's worth of mouth. So there's no agent. We're not like actors that. Mm -hmm. I see. You know, if this person that worked with you likes you or like the work you did or, mm -hmm. um, they're like, okay, I'll call her or I'll give her name to another um, right. music, to another contractor, to another, you know, um, things like that. And, uh, or sometimes it's like, um, oh, I really like this person because she makes me feel good. And, you know, she's uh, very nice. You know, I, I don't say that a lot of things in my industry is all about how you play. You know, there's a lot of it um, about looks, about other things. It's like mm -hmm. a little bit of a package. So I don't know if everybody, like, this is my, like my industry, then, you know, classical music industry could be very different, obviously. And uh, I think that's that yeah, makes sense. different, but yeah. for, yeah, for touring also, mm -hmm. I think they also look at the package. Can this person be on tour for that long, um, uh, having that personality or, um, <laughs> you right. know, little like that. And it's not just related with the playing. Of, of course, I think mm -hmm. the playing be number one and, uh, but a lot of it, when it comes to it, with this music industry, can be a, a, like an entire package deal. <laughs> so that um, makes sense. It's a creative industry, and uh, you have to, you know, yeah. And I'm still, level. I'm still learning how to, you know. I feel like actually one uh, one good advice will be to really start learning a lot about like businesses, like business. Like, because a lot of things we do, it's we have to make sure, like, our reading contracts, knowing how to do emails. And, you know, I'm not very techy at all, but I'm, I'm slowly trying to learn and also, like, learn how to record yourself, learn what, um, 
you know, to build your own st home studio, you know, things like that. I think it's so important nowadays. It's probably something that uh, back in the days, not many musicians thought about it, but now it's, uh, you know, the entrepreneuring part of it. It's so important. And, and also another thing I want to say, because of, you know, what pandemic, during the pandemic, what it taught us is to keep your feet kind of in many different places, because I had a lot of friends that um, just did uh, um, gigs, you know, just did performing. And then when, once that was shot, you know, they had nothing, mm. you know, thankfully for unemployment, but um, nothing else. And I feel like that's when you can be like, I sh you should also teach. You should look into teaching. And I love teaching. I have about 20 students and I, you know, I'm very grateful that I have them and I, you know, I kept, you know, it, it keeps me busy, but it's always good in a way because gigs, you never know when they, they come and go, you know, so right. it's way and also other things. If someone wants to be like, oh, in my spare time, I want to uh, do cooking or other things. I don't know now. It's like, and then, you know, there's always other ways to make money. <laughs> But, that's true yeah finding creative ways to make opportunities for yourself i see a lot of young yeah. kids now being very good with social media and yeah you know i i love instagram i'm not always very good with it um i don't understand tiktok i <laughs> <laughs> the God, yeah, surprise, me, I no <laughs> want more than create on tiktok oh it's but, you know, I, I think Instagram is a great way. Um, Sometimes I, I get, you know, especially with uh, having my baby and everything, it's just been so busy. Sometimes the marketing, uh, I used to be much better at it, I think. And now I just like, it's a lot. So I don't post as much as I would like to, or I get very... Um, you know, I know people love stalking video and things like that. <laughs> it's like a little bit out of my comfort zone. <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> because I feel like, you know, with my grammar and everything, you know, I'm still learning to speak English a little better. <laughs> oh, no, you're, you're, Sweet, you're but... fluent. What are you yeah. talking about, Jessica? You're I, like what? Bilingual? I, bilingual. I don't know what do. <laughs> he will teach me. <laughs> he will teach me. No, but um, I think, yeah, we have so many great tools right now for in, in order to, you know, start somewhere and to become our entrepreneur. Uh, so I think I think kids nowadays are definitely smart about that because I see it like with social media and everything. They really know how to get yeah. out. They're not afraid. <laughs> and I no, feel yeah, very different. I'm mindset kind of, from all of us. <laughs> are kind of like still stuck in a box a little bit and I'm kind of in between two worlds because I you know grew up in a very like classical music like in the box and then now it's completely different you know mm -hmm. so I'm still learning as well but just you know in manifest I would say you know if you really yeah. hear that I actually got asked to go on tour it was crazy I was just thinking about it a lot I was just which for string player doesn't really happen often, you know, like mm -hmm. to get us to go on a pop tour, you know, or some, I, I was just thinking, I was like, oh, would it be so cool if, you know, because so, it's been so many years, it's been more than, you know, 10 years I've been working here in the city as a freelancer, rec you know, recording and play with that. I was like, it would be very cool to like travel and to be in, and it did happen. So I kind of manifested and it happened. So I, I do believe in these little things so um and then yeah and then for the all the mamas out there you know just stick together and i think we need to support each other because it's still a very heavy like it's some hair mm -hmm. and world still so i feel yeah. like yeah i need to think support each other and definitely yes yes it's not easy you know you have other things that we didn't even go into that <laughs> that for another time i guess so many yeah. things you have to think it's, about. It's, I could talk forever about it probably, but <laughs> it, it it is very hard. And I like I I know like in my Instagram I only post like little snippet of just like little things. So it might seem easy and I'm just like always it's a, it's very difficult and I work sometimes, you know, I do miss him a lot and uh, 
and there's a lot of emotional part of it that yeah. that's when I think supporting each other and mm -hmm. and then you know and just I'm thinking you know I'm doing this to, for him and also like you know want him to be proud of me when he grows up you know and yeah and to provide as well because this is my job so <laughs> And I buy him the cute clothes <laughs> as I work. <laughs> I'm very grateful for anybody that, you know, all the people that asked me to to work for them, you know, even during a hard time and everything. So even now that with the schedule, it might be a little bit more difficult for me, but I, I, I try to make it work, you know. We try. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you try, you tr you're you doing a very good job of it. Uh, all of you and all the moms, you know, you don't know the kind of pressure and inner emotions and challenges that. Yeah, no, my, are my <laughs> always be my main inspiration. My mom is uh, such a, an amazing woman. And, you know, she, my father passed away when I was four. My sister was six and my mom is a cellist. So, um, it, it's a lot. So she really taught me how to be strong, how mm -hmm. to a lot of things. So I really look up on her. And, you know, we, we grew up with grandparents as well. So I love the family situation, you know, and we, our grandparents here are not so far. So it's good that we have a good family support, support yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, that's wonderful. You, you're you very lucky that you have a very, you know, strong role model <laughs> in yeah. your mom. De definitely. Uh -huh. And, you know, knowing that she was a musician, you know, and yeah. uh, she had to go on tour for right. in, in classical music. She had to go on tour with the orchestra. So sometimes we won't see her for a month or something. But we got, um, for me, it was really normal, like growing up, because I know that was her job. And I know mm -hmm. she was doing everything for us, you know, so. And we, and taught me how to be very independent. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and now I try to kind of be the same way with my son. So yeah. That's wonderful. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. I, I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that... Oh, yes. Any, any uh, To all the musicians who are about to become mothers, mm -hmm. do you have any advice for them or thoughts for them? <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> You know, it's so funny when people, like, I used to hear this all the time when, you know, even when I wasn't pregnant or anything, and you don't think too much about it. But then now, I'm like, wow, your time alone, just for yourself. Because right now, what I most struggle with, it's having time for myself, you know, like, um, me and my own thought, and that's it. So I think it's good to do some of that uh, in, before... <laughs> before baby and then just enjoy every second because it's honestly that it's so beautiful it's so amazing and I can't even explain the joy that I see every time I see my son every morning and I you know um and then for it not to be hard on yourself like for in terms of work and things like that I know Sometimes I oh, but uh, you know, if I lose this gig because of this or that, then don't, don't worry. Just you're you you having a you know a boy or a girl or you know that it right. it's amazing. You're, you're giving life. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Well, thank you for that. Um, we went over time. <laughs> oh, sorry. So I speak too much, like a true Oh me. no, no, no. <laughs> um, uh, I think I had promised you 15 minutes, and so we're over time. So because of that, I apologize. But thank you so much. Uh, are there any questions out there? I don't think we have any. Well, thank you so much, Francesca. Abraham, I hope you get to see you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for um, Of course. Uh, it's my pleasure. And thank you for sharing your thoughts and uh, some, some advice for the musicians out there who are wanting to take similar down the similar path as yours so yeah but i'm going to put this recording on on instagram and i'm going to link the project you did the the, the one you mentioned about the violin texture i think that was a wonderful project yes um, it's on my instagram if mm -hmm. you know, if, if anybody wants to check it out or and anyway any little project thing that i do i 
most of the time I post it or it's in my stories a lot too. So perfect. Thank you again for taking the time and have a great rest of the day. We'll speak it, again. <laughs> you, thank you. So much. Thank you. Thank you.